What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It has been about a month now since SG has released an operational WebKit exploit for 9.00. So this is something that I covered in my previous video, that is the WebKit exploit jailbreak news, confirmed working for 9.00. A lot of you people were going and trying it out. I did drop some links to go ahead and try it out as well. So I've been getting a lot of comments asking about the 9.00, like Cries the 9.00, uh, what we need is news on Jailbreak 8.52 to 9.00. So guys, a lot of comments have been coming around asking about the 9.00 updates. So I decided to go ahead and make an update video and talk about what has actually been happening since the last video I posted on the 9.00 Jailbreak, as well as the 8.xx to be as an overall update. So guys, firstly to cover, November 4th, Nagatoro actually posted a particular tweet and he mentioned, I've heard something coming soon to the PS4, stay put for the season of Jolly. This was in November 4th and something big is coming soon. Now when you say something big, obviously everyone's pretty excited and everyone's talking about, is it a PS4 exploit coming soon? Could it be a 9.00 jailbreak? Or could it be something regarding to the A.XX kernel exploit? So there was a lot of questions and a lot of discussion going on back and forth in the scene. So soon after, Backport 893 did mention little gift coming today at 10 p.m. CET, uh, but he did clearly mention that he's not Santa Claus, so don't expect a new kernel exploit. But he also did say no answer to any questions, just be patient. Following which, this was the number 12th, but then, as he said, it was just a little gift. This is FIFA 21. Uh, that's version 1.19 that was launched on the 13th of November. So he did backport it for 5.05, 6.72, 6 and sound point XX, the existing firmware jailbreaks. And as mentioned, guys, we did see this tweet. I've heard something coming soon to the PS4. Stay put for the season of Jolly. So when he said the season of Jolly, everyone did think about Christmas. And someone did tweet saying that Saturday, like the Saturday is going to be the day for it to be released. So most people did assume that, hey, Saturday is 25th of December and that is also Christmas Day and they expected maybe a kernel exploit is going to drop on the 25th of December which is going to be Christmas as a Christmas gift on the season of Jolly if that all makes sense together. However guys putting all of this aside let's move on to Hacker 1. Seek third what he reported on PlayStation has been closed and no longer visible over here which does seem like a good thing because now it could be up to Sony's point of view requested to be disclosed. So as mentioned that could be a good thing that's happening right now but finally we do have one last thing to look into if you look over here the process of getting a new jailbreak as tweeted by ps4 5 hp tester he didn't mention a few different steps over here we're not really sure how accurate this could be but this does look like the few steps that has been taken forth like for example exploit bug has been found we it has been reported to hacker one the bug has been evaluated, the bounty has been granted, so the firmware patch has been done, a new firmware to be released, and guys, just a few hours ago, Sony did release a 9.03 for the PS4 and a 21.024.50 for the PS5. Now, of course, that's another topic to touch into, but I'm going to go back over here right now. We just confirmed a new firmware has been released with the patches, and now as we notice, the case has been closed on Hacker 1. So finally, we do have the request for disclosure, which could happen next. And then if Sony goes ahead and approves it, it's going to be disclosed. And of course, we have the main man, SG, who's going to exploit the bug and then finally release it to the public. Let's just hope that this could be something that could happen to December as a Christmas gift on the 25th of December. However, guys, let me just clearly mention all of this is just speculation. Nothing is 100% solid. It's just a flow and trend that we're noticing. And this is the talks that's going on in the community. So I want to go ahead and share this with you guys. And it could be that it might come out as soon as possible. Or it could be delayed. It could be weeks or months as well. So we're not really sure yet, and this is just the news that I want to bring to you guys. However, if you're on 9.00 or below, please do not update. I know most of you guys have made a mistake and updated to 9.00, but now we have 9.03. And if you still want a jailbreak or a chance of jailbreaking, I would really strongly suggest do not update whatsoever. So moving on to this news, guys, firmware 9.03 for PS4 and 4.50 for the PS5. Many people were worried that now that we found a vulnerability on the latest firmware that's 9.00 and for the PS5's latest firmware as well, that Sony is not going to release a new firmware so that no one can actually release a jailbreak. Now, there are some people who do believe that there is an exploit which is in private and not been released public. 
But now that Sony has patched this and they've released a newer firmware, most of the PS4 users and the PS5 users will be on the latest firmware who needs to use the, the system as they want to use. Only people who want a jailbreak are going to stay back, which is going to be a small fraction of the population who use the PS4s and PS5s. So then Sony might be able to go ahead and approve to disclose the exploit and then the few other steps will then proceed to go ahead and have a release. Well, actually guys, I was supposed to post this video yesterday and talk about all of these things, but however, I had a delay for a day because there were talks that this vulnerability still works on the latest PS4 firmware 9.03 and the latest PS5 firmware as well. So I had to hold back posting this video and I don't know if I should say fortunately or unfortunately, the vulnerability still works on the latest firmwares, guys. So right now it does work on the latest firmwares, not just the 9.00, but that does not mean that you should update. Just go ahead and stay where you are. I'm not sure this is really surprising that Sony has not patched it in the latest firmware that they just launched. Even though it's been pretty public that a WebKit exploit has been exploited on the PS4 and the PS5. Now I'm not sure what's gonna happen next, but we just have to wait and see how this progresses. Just wanna keep you guys updated on that as well. So as mentioned guys, this is just speculation, so let's just see how things go. All right guys, so that's about it for this particular video. I hope you strapped into the firmware you're already on. As mentioned, do not update your PS4s or your PS5s. If you're looking for a jailbreak, stay where you are. And I will follow up with another update video immediately when we get solid news to go ahead and update you guys. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great week. Happy gaming. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.